For this dodge and burn technique, we are also going to take advantage of blend modes, but here we're going to be using two separate blend modes to separate out the process of dodging versus burning. One will be for lightning, one will be for darkening. The magic that's going to take place here is we're going to take advantage of an adjustment layer that will serve no purpose at all aside from this blend mode. Let me explain that. What we're going to do is, just like we did in uh, previous dodge and burn techniques, is we're going to hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC, but instead of clicking on the new layer icon, we're going to come over to the what is typically known as the adjustment layer icon. Also has fill layers as well, but we're going to take advantage of this and we're going to use an adjustment layer. And I'm going to come up here and click on it and we can use almost any layer in here. We're going to go ahead and use levels, as you'll see in a second, not to actually brighten up our image um, via the levels dialog box itself, but because we're going to set the blend mode of this adjustment layer to one of our darken or lighten blend modes. In this case we're going to use screen and what screen is going to do on this adjustment layer is subtract out or half the values whatever it's going over. Let's go ahead and do it and you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit OK. When the dialog box comes up it has already set the blend mode for this adjustment layer to screen and you can already see it has brightened up the file by a factor of two. It has halved the brightness throughout the entire file. The brights have gone all the way to being blown out and the shadows are twice as light as they were. If there was only 5% information in the rock before, now there's only 10. Where there was 95%, it's now double that and that's why it's blown out. I'm not going to do any adjustment here. I could but I'm actually going to let the blend mode do all the work for me here. Okay, and so you don't get confused with actually using levels for the tone adjustment. Right now I'm going to hit OK and just turn on and off and you're going to see that this adjustment layer is doing all its magic just because of the blend mode that's built into its current state. It is in the screen blend mode. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of the layer mask that every adjustment layer automatically comes with, a free no cost, no obligation uh, layer mask. I'm going to use again a good old fashioned paintbrush. My finger is first on the D key to reset my default colors back to black and white, then on the X key so I could exchange my foreground and background colors. And obviously what I'm going to do now is where I've blown out information in my sky based upon this adjustment layer. I'm simply going to paint with black and bring back in that detail. As I paint in, I'm painting back in, that brush is a tad big, I'm bringing back in detail. And I can bring back in as much detail as I would like. I can even come in here, again, to kind of exaggerate the play of light on the rocks here, I can come back in here and create some darkening to the rocks where I'm letting that original dark version of the file come through. So now I'm darkening this up if I feel like it. You can see the mask. Remember the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC allows you to view a mask. Okay, maybe I'm going to increase the opacity of that brush just to speed things up a little bit. We'll go around 60%. And you can see I can bring in my original tonality of my file. Okay, I'm using a nice big soft brush so I don't have to be too concerned with my edge detail. and. Uh, there you have it. So we have brightened up our file, especially pulled out shadow detail, uh, taking advantage of the blend mode. Can we do this to not only uh, lighten up portion of our image, but actually add density, say, to these highlights? Can I pull out a little bit more information? You certainly can. Let's do the exact same technique. Hold down the Option key on the Mac, Alt key on the PC, click on the new adjustment layer icon, go back to levels, this time, instead of using one of our Lighten blend modes, like Lighten or Screen, we're going to use Multiply. Multiply will do the opposite. It's going to double the values, not cut them in half, but it's going to double the values. Okay. Now you'll see where it's pure white, there's nothing to double, so it can't do that. And where it's subtle, and what was 5 or 10% is now, you know, 10 or 20. The shadows, of course, are being doubled up dramatically. 
So here we have our highlight detail pulled in on our file. Okay, dramatically so. Too much so in our shadows. So what are we going to do? Same thing that we did on the layer below. We're going to simply take a nice black paintbrush and paint out where we're getting too much darkening. I may do the entire bottom portion of the file. Okay, and I may even want to come up here, reduce that opacity of the brush again, and I don't need it quite so dark in the sky. Let's come in here to DeWitt and pull out a little bit more detail. There's the detail in there. I don't want to worry about getting halo effects on him. I just want to lighten him up a little bit. What would be an easy way of selecting DeWitt before I start my painting? That's right. Let's use our good old CS3 Quick Select. Come over here. Just drag around DeWitt. He's selected. I can even hide that selection. Coming up here and hiding it. Let's do it under View as always helps to hide our selection. Go back to our good old fashioned paintbrush. We're going to paint black on that mask, hiding what's currently taking place. So black on that mask is going to pull out detail just on DeWitt because why? Because we have him selected. We just simply dragged over him with our little quick select tool. Okay, so there is our DeWitt back with enough detail. I'm wanting to keep the silhouette because that is our story. His outline against the bright sky is really the story in this image. So there we have it. We've darkened up the sky dramatically. We've lightened up the rocks significantly. And if we look at our before image, here's a little, another little shortcut for you. Holding on the Option key on the Mac, Alt key on the PC, I've used that several times so far, is all on, all off. Okay, it's a toggle clicking all on and off with whatever's in your file. Okay, significantly more dramatic, but still telling our story of a silhouetted um, figure against our bright sky.